Hello, welcome to the A-Level Centre here at Berry College. My name's Chris Stoker and I'm the Head of A-Level Study Programmes. This short video is designed to be a brief introduction into what it's like to study A-Levels at the College and also to help you to make an informed decision about your subjects. So, one of the most common questions we're asked here at the College is what's the difference between a vocational programme and an A-Level programme? So I just wanted to start by looking at some of the key differences between the two. So the main differences between a vocational and A-level programme are in terms of the skills that you'll develop on the course and also the assessment. On a vocational programme, the skills that you developed will be focused into that specific subject area. So for instance, IT, public services or performing arts. And the skills that you develop on an A-level programme will be more academic and focused towards passing your exams at the end of the two years. The other difference in terms of the assessment on the course, on a vocational programme, it's mostly coursework based with a small exam component as well and you'll build up your grade over two years. With an A-level study programme everything will come down to that final exam at the end of your course and some subjects do have a small coursework component as well. So the main question you need to ask yourself is am I more suited towards coursework or exams? A third option is a T-level. That's a relatively new course that we're delivering at the college. It's a two-year course and it's worth the same number of UCAS points after two years as three A-levels. But there's also quite a large work experience component as well. So the two areas that we're going to deliver T-levels in within the A-level centre next year are Accounts and Applied Science. If you'd like any more information about them, please visit the website. So, what does an A-level study programme look like? Well, it consists of three subjects studied over two years. In addition to that, you'll have work-related learning and careers development programme that runs alongside. As well, you'll also enjoy enrichment. Now, enrichment's time every week where you can take a step back from your academic studies and take part in something else that you enjoy. Whether that be sports, we've got a wide range available, or if you're not interested in sports, we've got things like chess club, driving theory, a cross stitch, and many others available. If there's anything you'd like to get started, we're really keen to start new clubs, so please visit the enrichment hub when you're at college. So, things to consider when you're choosing your A-levels. Number one, one of the most important things is, do you enjoy the subjects? At the moment at GCSE, you're probably studying eight or nine different subjects. At A-level, you're gonna bring that down to just three. It's really important that you enjoy them to make sure you get the best out of them. Number two, equally important, is does it get you to where you want to be in the future? We can help you with that, and the next stage of your application, you will have a discussion with a member of the team where we can give you advice as to which subjects fit your career aim best. It does help if you've done your own research first, so please have a look before you come and see us. Finally, if you're not really sure what you want to do in the future, not everybody knows, and that's absolutely fine. We offer a wide range of facilitating subjects, things like maths, English, science, history and geography, and they're accepted on a wide range of university courses and apprenticeships as well. So, this is a list of all the A-levels we currently offer at the college. Everything's available on the website, so if you need some information, please head over there. I'd just like to draw your attention to some of the subjects up there with a little star next to them. There are vocational equivalent subjects. So they're equivalent to one A-level after two years, and we do ask that students only take one of these as part of an A-level programme. We find it helps for progression in the future. So, for instance, in subjects like engineering, if studied alongside maths and physics, they can give you a bit of practical experience as well at the same time in the workshop. What do we ask from you? Well, we ask for a minimum of three grade fours and three grade fives at GCSE, and as part of that, GCSE English Language and Maths. Some individual subjects will have their own entry requirements. For example, further maths, you need a seven in maths to study. Science, you need a six in that science and one other six in science as well. If you do have any questions about entry requirements, please head over to the website where they should all be available. What does a typical week look like on an A-level study programme? Well, you'll have five hours per academic subject per week. In addition to that, you'll have two hours tutorial, the first of which is personal development topics similar to what you've covered in PHSE at school. The second hour will focus on careers development skills, which will help you when you progress to your career in the future. On top of that, you'll also have a personal tutor. They'll be one of your academic subject tutors. They'll know you very well and you'll meet with them every single week. Now they'll help you set targets in order to improve whilst you're on your A-level study programme. In addition to that, we also ask students to take part in 15 hours independent study per week. That's five hours per academic subject. In addition to that, you'll also take part in enrichment every single week. That's an opportunity for you to take a step back from your academic studies and do something else you enjoy. In terms of student support available at the A-Level Centre, there's myself and Denise Ashworth, the two assistant directors, Sophie Fletcher, the head of Year 13, and a fantastic team of personal tutors and pastoral managers on hand to help. We've also got the Cross College team of wellbeing advisors, counsellors, safeguarding manager, and additional learning support team. So if there is any additional support you need while you're with us, we'll make sure that you get it. 
Finally, I just wanted to share some success stories from the past 12 months. This is Verity. Verity came to us from Kersley Academy. She studied biology, chemistry, maths, and further maths. She achieved A star and three A's. And she's now progressed on to the University of Cambridge to study natural sciences. Fantastically hardworking student, and it's really paid off for her. This is Beth. Beth came to us from St. Anne's Academy. She studied A-levels in sociology, psychology, and applied criminology. That's one of those vocational equivalents I was talking about earlier. She ended up with two A-stars and an A, and she's now progressed to the University of Westminster to study psychology. So, this is Alex. Alex came to us from the Elton High School, just around the corner. He studied maths, chemistry, and biology, but that wasn't the A-level program that he started on. In the first few weeks of college, you'll have advice and guidance conversations with your personal tutor, where we'll help you make sure you're on the right course for your career aim. Alex had a complete change of career aim when he started his A-level program, and actually he's ended up with three A-stars on science and maths A-levels. He's now progressed to the University of Manchester to study chemical engineering. Finally, this is Faisal. Faisal came to us from the Co-op Academy. He studied A-levels in accounting, business and mathematics. He gained two A's and a C, and actually he took a different route to the others in terms of progression after his A-levels. He's now secured a really competitive degree apprenticeship with Deloitte. Deloitte are going to pay for his degree, he's now earning money, and also he started the career of his dreams. So, a degree is not the only option available to you after your A-level study programme. Whichever route you take, we will support you with it. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any additional questions, please get in touch through the website. And we look forward to seeing you in September.